Hello Dreamers, this is Luciano. I'm going to show you today how to use my newly published uh, ConfiUI workflow for generating images using your webcam and Stable Diffusion 1.5. Uh, first, let me demonstrate how it works, then I will explain it a, bit of, a little bit about it. So to make it work, we need to have this setting here enabled on an external option you need to enable auto queue make sure to enable auto queue or else it won't work as you wish it won't work with a live stream and then we can just queue prompt and there you go every time we for every frame of the webcam there will be a new generated image here on the right side and we can actually turn myself into many other stuff like a pixar puppy or maybe uh, be more specific, a cute pixar puppy, a cute pixar alien. And let us begin. And it is not limited to only change yourself. As it is streamed from your webcam, you can actually try to provide other objects as the main subject of the camera. And it will also work such as my phone here. Uh, and it will begin making a cute picture alien from the phone, right? <laughs> it will try to make an alien from the phone. And all the images are being saved in real time. And now let me explain a bit about how this is working. What is going on with this workflow? Um, first of all, uh, there are a little bit of uh bonus here that i made here with a folder selection where you can uh, just change your folder and it will automatically create a sub folder with the day of generation and the hour and minutes together with the sampler seed of the generation and uh, you just need to change this bit here you can name it with the name of your project that you are working on and it will work this here is just so you can have a quick reference for your folders and your projects that you have on your computer. Uh, the main things you're going to change is just here on the prompt, positive and negative prompt. You may change your checkpoints if we wish to change, use some other things to get more photorealistic or maybe something more specific that you have trained. Here I'm using my own custom model worded for generating cartoon photos and what is the most have thing you must have the LCM LoRa you can also try using LCM for SD Excel or SSD if if you have a computer power fan off uh, I'm running on a NVIDIA 370 and it's faster to get the real-time feeling with Stable Diffusion 1.5. And if you want other LoRa's, you can just select the LoRa and turn them on or off. Let me try here by making myself... Uh, turning it to watercolor you can see that it's already applying on the watercolor effect just by turning it on uh, i am beginning to <laughs> to, set, to look like something really different and you can turn it off and and experiment at will with your own loras right and mix them up as you wish see we are beginning to look something <laughs> really different and really fun uh so that's what's going on here uh you need to have comfy row for this node to work and you need to have this also this auto other node here that is from jovi matrix that provides the image web webcam stream uh i didn't change anything here but you may experiment with that also uh, the case sampler is where the 
you can find the settings for the LCM and you may also experience with denoising your image uh, for be more towards your actual image or give more creativity to the stable diffusion model as let's say if I put 0 0.8 it will go crazy and will not follow my image so much but if I get, keep it in a low value like 0 0.6 uh, it still retains my image and I like the 0 0.7 value better because it, it actually follows my prompt and keeps the original image you may also try to make free you work with this with this workflow i couldn't get it to work but i left it anyway because i'm trying experiment still and i may update it if i finally get it to work uh so there you go that's you there you have it and if you want to stop generation you just need to deselect auto queue and it will stop the workflow being generated see but it also stopped my webcam that's <laughs> but that's how you do it that's the workflow and it's available on confiworkflows.com you can download it here and i'll leave the link on the comments i hope you like it i hope you have fun with it and i'll see you next time